with love it is as the Bahubali with a bold lift off glided through the skies this afternoon at 2.35 p.m. to go into space. With this, the Indian Space Research Organization launched its third lunar mission, Chandrayaan-3, on board the heavy lift LVM-3M4 rocket from the Satish Dhawan Space Center in Sriharikota. Now, 16 minutes into liftoff, propulsion module successfully separated from the rocket and has now been injected into the desired orbit to begin its journey to the moon. Isro scientists announced the successful separation of the satellite from the launch vehicle. Now, remember... This moon mission is a follow-up one after the crash landing of Chandrayaan-2 in September 2019, which happened due to software failure. The main goal of Chandrayaan-3 is to land the rover on the lunar surface on August 23rd. That's when it is going to happen. The new mission, remember, also aims to demonstrate India's capability to safely land and explore the lunar surface. The spacecraft is expected to reach the moon's south pole and operate for one lunar day, which is approximately 14 Earth days. Now, why one, if you ask? It is because the lander and the rover are built to last only for one lunar day. They can't survive the extreme drop in temperatures during the lunar nights and hence have to land right at dawn and go about doing their job of discovering what lies on the surface of the moon. Now, remember this third Chandrayaan, the word for moon craft in Sanskrit, not only has the potential to reaffirm ISRO's position as one of the front-ranking space-faring nations, but also will allow it to get actively involved in more collaborative missions with other space agencies. Let me open this up to my guests on the broadcast who are joining me on this auspicious evening. Professor Bias Rajan, who is the Honorary Distinguished Professor at ISRO, is also a Padma Shri awardee, is with us. Dr. Amitabh Ghosh, who is a space scientist and also part of NASA's Mars Exploration Rover mission, is also with us. And last but not the least, Mr. V. Selvamurthy, who is a scientist and former chief controller, researcher and development at uh, the DRF, DRDO, is also with us. Uh, good evening, gentlemen. Thank you so much for joining us on the broadcast. Dr. Ghosh, let me begin with you. What we have witnessed today, how do you choose to describe that feeling, considering it's a successful part one of that mission that's been accomplished for India, for ISRO? What would you say to what has happened today? So I think it's wonderful, and I'm speaking from an average perspective from an average space scientist. Mm. So you know, if so, there is a camarad camaraderie. You know, it's beyond national boundaries. And if um, any nation goes to space, the I think the community is very happy. Yes. Um, and um, I think this is a grand start. And so we hope that the uh, the August twenty third and twenty fourth mm. is nominal. Mm -hmm. um, and the other thing is, you mentioned, you know, I, I think constantly Chandrayaan 2 is being pulled into the picture mm -hmm. and the discussion. Mm -hmm. I think that should be left alone. Yeah. You know, it's a different endeavor. You're mm -hmm. going back differently. So I think it's not the time to discuss that. The, well, why did it fail and it failed due mm -hmm. to a software failure? Mm -hmm. See, this is a risky frontier. Mm -hmm. And we have to understand that failure is part of the game here. Mm -hmm. Every big agency has failed, and it is completely all right. It is a, it is not a day to day yeah. normal ha, normal job. It is a hard job, and there are things that you don't know, and you will discover along the way. Right. So I don't think you should even view it that way. So okay. I think overall it's a huge deal. I think um, this will make India the fourth power if, uh, to land. Oh, absolutely. Um, there are two hundred countries, and just four of them have this unique capability of going. Um, uh, half a million miles from mm. Earth and then landing, landing there. I mean, mm. I mean, if you just think of it, how far is it? Is it um, um, so it's far away. You're sending something and then controlling it. It's absolutely fabulous. Absolutely. And, you know, let me actually bring in Professor Rajan now on the broadcast. Professor Rajan, and pardon me, Dr. Ghost, why I was talking about Chandrayaan 2 was also because uh, the ISRO chairperson, Mr. S. Somnath, has also mentioned that how Chandrayaan 3 is 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 not like a, a success-based design that we're looking at. It's a failure-based design. And he has, he has underlined that aspect. So, Professor Rajan, how does one, one read that? I don't know how you have interpreted this failure-based design. Nobody makes a failure-based design. Hmm. Let me, first of all, let me go to the basic fundamentals. Sure. Forget all Chandrayaan, this orbit. This is a great achievement. For, for the moment, you forget Chandrayaan decoupled. Mm -hmm. 
this bahubali or what you call as bahubali mm. this is the heaviest one which india has done mm. stand alone it is a great success mm. because seven consecutive launches have been successful mm. it is very important for space people because it is uh, comes to close to 99.999 something like that reliability mm. that's the first thing mm. number two if you have listened to various things which they were telling the lot of thing especially when those uh, director vssc and others when they were telling mm. is that lot of items which are man rating we have to go for uh, gaganyaan or whatever that you know, our human a space flight mm. for that when they started about 4 5 years ago the, the bahubali was not you know first launch second launch we want to develop a amount of reliability mm. then only you put a human beings mm. so they have got the reliability and they have tested many items which need to be done for human rating mm. because for example the liquid engine it has got human rating the many items there have come so by stand alone it is a great milestone for indian launch vehicle capability absolutely keep that now i will go to chandrayaan yes then chandrayaan see again we don't design for something to fail mm. any time uh, is not that costly way we may do some destructive test on the ground but not we won't do a whole this thing and then say uh, money we have wasted you know mm. we don't spurge it it was done with a lot of care and design and whatever can be done mm. and there are always certain limitations of knowledge base xp see the thing is you have to get a experience based mm. knowledge mm. if you look at various other countries they do even this bahubali some of the earlier things had failed it then one learns from it and then here the same swamanath what he was explaining was many things which didn't do that well or they would have tried to do something better okay. they got that time and then they have changed it into this for example two engine mm. it was a single engine launching they have made a double engine yes so like that there are power for example you told oh, it can't stand that cold it is not the standing of that cold mm. after the 14 days it goes to the darker side that means the sun will not come okay so therefore well the will be have enough battery capacity okay so here they have tried to increase the battery capacity mm. so if it is so if they are lucky because he said if you are lucky it will work on that then then the other 14 days it will survive okay. so these are the things which are there there are so many little details which are there it will be if i start listing it will be much because uh, all right so, so on that note very beautiful uh, chairman is wrong as given at this so in other words in other words yeah. see other words we are waiting when i say this i am waiting for the august that 23 24 mm. each one of those now it has gone there it has to get to the moon capture Correct. that is another tricky business after the moon capture it will But come but talking about that very, very tricky close. business Then, on that note let me actually bring in uh, mr selva murthy i'd want to understand this from you mr selva murthy why is it so difficult to land on the moon what makes moon such a, a you know troubled territory that only three nations before india uh, that has achieved what it has achieved today could actually go about doing that when it is about uh, their own set of space explorations first of all i want to compliment congratulate even the first phase of the chandrayaan 3 mission which has been an outstanding success mm. the launch and the trajectory in which what was predicted and the movement of the spacecraft has been so precise mm. so well begun is half done so i would like to compliment the scientists of isro technicians all those who are connected particularly the chairman the earlier chairman all these people have contributed immensely so we should uh, the nation should compliment congratulate them mm. i would also like to place on record our gratitude to honorable prime minister mm. shri narendra modi ji and yes. also minister dr jitender singh who have been providing immense support mm. to isro mm. because space department comes directly with pmo so mm. that patronage support is also there all the time for success of this event mm. having said this 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 mission is very important mm. because chandrayaan 2 we were we were just missed it very in a in a very small fraction maybe 5% 95% were successful absolutely so this part will be revalidating all the technology propulsion guidance control navigation payload integration payload separation 